Hey, I'm Alexandra, home editor at Chatelaine, and what I like to do is cover my cat in pom-poms and make him walk around on camera. Just kidding. I'm Alexandra, and this is another episode of The Home Primp where I make over spaces on a serious budget. So today we're in the Chatelaine offices. This is my work BFF, Katie. She's a senior editor here at Chatelaine. Now I've made over an office here before, but this is a much, much smaller space. It's a cubicle, so it doesn't see a lot of light. It's really cramped. Katie, what are you looking for in your new and improved cubicle? I mean, I'm looking for it to be kind of a happy, inviting, warm space, even if it's like five feet by five feet. And what's not working for you right now in this space? Basically everything. As a bit of an artist type, I have papers everywhere all the time, post-it notes, so I'd like kind of my papers to be more organized. I also have tried in vain to put up inspiration on the wall, but it's kind of haphazard. I'd like for it to look a little bit more, okay. you know, pristine and pretty. So this is gonna be a challenge. It's a challenge that I'm up for. I'm gonna print Katie's cubicle for under $50. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't feel organized or motivated when I've got a ton of paper on my desk. And when you're working with a small space, things can accumulate fast. Spend a few minutes before you start decorating to take everything off your desk and then give it a good clean. The easiest way to achieve a bright and happy cubicle? Add a hit of color and pattern. This is actually a panel of wallpaper that I had left over from a previous prim, but you can use anything. Wrapping paper or even fabric will do. I'm securing it with magnets. And just like that, the dreary off-yellow paneling becomes a sea of pink and blue parrots. So pretty. The most important addition you can make to your cubicle is light. I found these adorable Edison bulb string lights and I love that they're battery powered because you don't get that awkward wire hanging down the side. These curtain hooks are from Ikea and come in a pack of 24. I gave them a quick update with gold spray paint and they instantly make this string of lights a place to hang notes, photos, and inspirational messages to get you through the day. Another super easy way to make your cubicle feel more like home, bring a table lamp and you'll feel like you're working in your living room. Katie has a ton of unorganized paper and I can bet you probably do too. Pretty stationery is a great way to solve this. Limit yourself to only a few folders that each have a specific purpose and go through each sheet of paper you have ruthlessly. If it doesn't fit in one of your folders, toss it. Something I struggle with in my cubicle is having a place to toss my keys, work pass, and wallet that I need to access throughout the day. Find things you already have, like a small decorative basket, and use them in different ways. This is the perfect place for Katie to dump her essentials out of sight, but still accessible. Use a decorative box to house pens you don't use often so that your pencil holder doesn't get crammed. You'll also know what you have at all times so you don't have to rifle through drawers. Katie already had this, but there's a similar one linked down below. Keep everyday pencils in a fun mug on top of the decorative box so they're in easy reach. There's nothing worse than those cheap plastic magazine holders. Seriously, they will instantly darken your cubicle. I'm replacing them with wooden ones I found in the office. I just gave them a coat of coral paint to add some happy color into the space. Bring things that will make your cubicle feel like home. This pretty plate, for example, is the perfect place to house hand creams and face sprays for when you're feeling the stress. I love having a diffuser going at my desk with essential oil. It makes me chill out without creating an overbearing scent. This awesome diffuser looks like a decorative piece and it uses a USB plug so you can power it with your computer. Genius. Try something by Sage, like Liquid Sunshine, which is a cheerful essential oil blend. Katie has no greenery on her desk. Plants change everything. Bring them from home and fill your cubicle. I promise you'll instantly feel a difference in your mood. These little pots with magnetic backs are also perfect if you've got a magnetic cubicle. Just hang them anywhere and everywhere. Now onto this whiteboard situation. There's all this space Katie could be using to organize her life, but instead it's a boring backdrop to look at. I'm going to cover it in wrapping paper, my oldest cubicle trick in the book. I found these genius removable dry erase boards and I'm putting them up here. A great way to organize your tasks for the week. Katie's got this water filter, but it's taking up a lot of space and really doesn't look that great. This pretty carafe looks beautiful and is also functional. And now for the finishing touches. A boot bath mat, what else, from home that doubles as a cubicle welcome mat. I love how bright, cozy, and organized this cubicle is now. 
I really didn't get rid of much that Katie had here before, proving that you can be organized and stylish all at the same time. It's all about using things that you already have at home and carving out a little space at work that truly feels like yours. Thanks so much for watching The Home Primp. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any updates, and comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Katie, do you want some, do you want some water from your new craft?